It seems like you can't talk to a vendor or an FAA inspector, pick up a magazine, or attend a conference without hearing about human factors. Where did this big push for human factors come from? Well, the history of human factors training for maintenance personnel doesn't go back very far. While pilots have had the benefit of cockpit resource management, now called crew resource management or CRM, for more than 20 years, it's only since the early 90s that human factors training has been emphasized for aircraft maintenance workers. Most people and businesses want to learn about human factors to be compliant with FAA requirements. Well, the FAA currently does not have stated requirements, although it is likely they will have formal written requirements in the not too distant future. Until then, the FAA has published an operator's manual for human factors in aviation maintenance and outlined human factors topics that repair stations should know and understand. This video will look at these topics by examining and explaining common human factors concepts and tools as they apply to the aviation maintenance realm. Topics include the shell model, Boeing's maintenance error decision aid, usually called the Mead of process, Heinrich's ratio, which is commonly referred to as the iceberg model, the reason model, describing active and latent errors, the chain of events, also known as the domino theory, or one thing leads to another, the dirty dozen, and other human factors concepts.